Mood swings. Not that any of you would ever have mood swings, but how many of you get really cranky at times? What's that related to? That's a hormonal imbalance. How about nervous and emotional? A lot of you may get anxiety. That relates to your adrenal glands, or maybe you're not sleeping as well as you'd like to. Now, I'll give you secret number one. If you want to get rid of that belly fat, you have to sleep better because your body releases what's called a growth hormone when you're sleeping. Growth hormone will actually enhance your body's ability to metabolize uh, by about 400%. So you burn fat when you're sleeping, not when you're exercising. So that's the good news. Now you guys are probably like, oh cool, I don't have to exercise ever again. That's not what I'm saying. It's the, the results and the fat burning from exercise come after the fact. So it comes actually when you're sleeping, when you're recovering. So the other symptom that we ignore and we think weight is the problem, so weight gain. Weight is actually just a symptom. So I tell people, we help people lose thousands of pounds in our clinic. We had massive amounts of weight loss, almost 15,000 pounds lost last year alone. Not once did we ever treat weight loss. What we treat is the cause and we get your body healthy. When your body's healthy, it will start to lose the weight. Because remember, stress causes your body to put on fat, put on weight. But there's other things that cause weight gain as well. So let's talk about those. So what we found with our research is there's four different distinct body types. And each one of these body types show us why your body is put on weight. So instead of just saying, putting you on a scale and saying, okay, Mr. Jones, you're 225 and we looked at the body mass index and you should be weighing 185. So I want you to diet and exercise. And you're going, okay, well, what does that mean? And then you start doing some crazy fast and cleanse and before you know it, you burned out your, your thyroid gland, your metabolism shuts down, you lose weight in the beginning, you lose 20 pounds and then you yo-yo and you put 30 back on because that's the normal scene in America. But if you look at the four body types, the first body type is called the ovary body type. What happens is when you put on saddlebags, I think um, some of you ladies may understand what I'm talking about, even some of you men, but if you put weight on around the hips or the thighs, what that relates to is too much estrogen, estrogen dominance. So the first way to get rid of weight that gets put on here is you have to detoxify because estrogen, if it doesn't have a home, that estrogen hormone will go into a fat cell and then that fat cell will, will expand. And so you're probably asking, okay, well, what does that have to do with the midsection weight and the weight around the thighs and the hips? It's because women have a thousand times more receptor sites for estrogen than men do. And so estrogen is one of the primary hormones for reproduction, for growing a baby. And so naturally your body has more of the estrogen receptor sites right around the sex hormones. So the first thing that we want you to do is to detoxify if you have estrogen dominance, if you're putting on weight here. The second type of body fat that you can get is the lower belly. And this is the adrenals. This is when the, the lower belly can start to grow, it starts to sag. Long term, you'll get the buffalo hump and you'll start walking like this. Your belly will stick out. You're going to have symptoms of getting out of breath if you walk upstairs. You'll be easily startled. You'll feel tired a lot. You'll, you'll lack the motivation that you used to. You may even feel some anxiousness. You may feel super tired but anxious at the same time. That relates to your adrenal glands. And that's when you start to grow down here. So the number one thing you have to do to get rid of this is to decrease stress. So first thing we're going to do when, it, when you come, come in is we actually do a, a procedure. It's called a frontal lobotomy. So we put these ice picks right here and we tap it into your frontal lobe so it disengages your prefrontal cortex and magically your stress disappears. So, <laughs> all right, it's a joke, but we got to get you breathing. So my Japanese mentor, what, what, what Dr. Maikawa used to say is, the quickest way to die is to stop breathing. So next time you're stressed, 
just feel your breath, feel your body, and you'll notice that you got too much stress. So breathe. That's the quickest way to enhance life is breathing. Okay, let's talk about thyroid body type. Thyroid is when you put on weight all over. Now, you're probably asking, why do I put weight everywhere if I'm a thyroid type? How do you know that? Well, here's how we know. Because every cell in your body has these receptor sites for your thyroid hormone. Now, what does thyroid hormone control? It controls metabolism. So if you have poor metabolism, you're going to have cold hands, cold feet. The outer thirds of your eyebrows are going to start thinning. Your hair will start falling out. You'll start noticing scallops on your tongue. Your nails will become brittle. You'll be constipated. You'll have no libido. Otherwise, you'll feel great. Um, but you're going to put weight on everywhere. You'll get the chin. You'll get your arms will swing in the wind. Um, you'll get it on your legs. So your body, your mitochondria, those little power plants in your cells, you learned this in high school biology, your mitochondria need the thyroid hormone in order to fire, to do their job, to run you through the Krebs cycle, the ATP. If you don't have thyroid hormone, we've got to look at why. So it could be from your, your gut because your body's ability to produce T4 is dependent on having the right bacteria in your gut. If your adrenals aren't functioning well, your thyroid's going to be overstressed. But the biggest thing we're going to talk about in a minute is the conversion process in your liver. Your liver could be causing it. But let's talk about this, this, this fourth body type, which is your liver body type. It also relates to insulin resistance. So that's where it looks like you may have swallowed a bowling ball or a small child. But um, men, a lot of us men, we get this big old beer belly, right? And why do we get the beer belly? That's because we get our livers get fluid around it. It's called ascites. So you push on it and you're like, wow, that thing is solid. Um, and you're going to tell me it's muscle, but muscle is several layers deep. But a lot of that is dangerous. If you have this big belly here, you're, if, you're, if your circumference around your, your belly is bigger than your waist, every inch your chances of having a heart attack increase twice the amount. So you got to make sure you're watching that. And the biggest thing with liver and insulin resistance is you're going to have fatty liver syndrome. So we've got to get rid of that, that water weight. So one of the best things that you can do to get rid of water weight, take some pressure off your liver, is eat an avocado. So one avocado has a thousand milligrams of potassium because secret number two when it comes to weight loss and when it comes to getting your body healthy is you got to have at least 5,000 milligrams of potassium in your diet every day. And a lot of you are saying, oh, I can get it from bananas. Don't get it from bananas. That's got too much sugar. You want to get it from avocados, from leafy greens, from good wild-caught salmon. You can get it from fish, sardines, mackerel. They have good fatty acids, really good levels of potassium. Grass-fed beef, make sure it's not conventionally raised meat. But good grass-fed beef, you're going to have loads of potassium. But the potassium is the way to get rid of that water weight. And then once you get rid of that water weight, your liver can start to breathe. Then you want to eat lots of cruciferous vegetables like the chard, the, the kale, the cauliflower, the broccoli. All those things, they need to be cooked. But all those cruciferous vegetables are some of the best ways to open up the filtration systems in your liver. Because once you address your body, you look at the cause and then you treat the cause of why you've put on weight in the first place, that's when your body starts to get healthy. So that's why I say we don't treat weight loss, we'll help you lose weight, of course, but we want to get your body healthy. Because if we focus on symptom, we're doing the same thing that, that your, your doctor has done before us, and your doctor just gives you another medication that, that treats the symptom, not looks at the cause. Because once we treat the cause, that's when your body will start transforming its own hormones. That's when those three hormones that I talked about at the first of the video will start to get more balanced. That's when you, you balance your insulin levels because these are your fat storing hormones. How do you balance insulin? First thing you have to do is get rid of sugar. So I know a lot of you are addicted to sugar. Come on. But that's the best way to balance your insulin levels is control your sugar, control, get healthy fats, healthy proteins. The second thing you have to look at is make sure that you have your cortisol levels balanced. And the third is your estrogen levels. Cortisol, you got to decrease your stress. 
estrogen, we got to get your body flushed out. We got to get you detoxed. Get rid of all those chemicals, all those endocrine disruptors. Because once you do that, then you have five anti-aging properties, anti-aging hormones that kick in that your body loves. Those are the hormones that make you jump out of bed. You feel excited for your day. You're ready to go crush it. And then once those five hormones kick in, that's when you start to get metabolism. And so metabolism is driven by your thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is this little, it's a butterfly shaped gland that sits on top of your Adam's apple right in your throat. Now thyroid, your thyroid gland produces about 93% of T4 and 7% of what it produces is T3. T4 is thyroxine. Now T4 gets converted into T3 in your liver and if there's no conversion of T4 to T3 then what T4 is like is it's similar to having crude oil in your car. Now what would happen if you just loaded your car up with crude oil? Well the engine's going to be sputtering, it's not going to run properly. So what you want to do is you have to take oil and refine it into gasoline and then, then your car can burn the gasoline. So that's what T4 is and T3. T3 is like the refined oil. So if your liver is not functioning properly, your thyroid's pushing out this, this healthy amount of T4, but your liver's not converting it, then what happens is you're, you'll start to exhibit symptoms of hypothyroidism. So your hair may start falling out. You'll get cold hands and cold feet. You'll, you'll feel really lethargic because you don't have the T3. You don't have that active hormone that helps stimulate metabolism. Your thyroid hormone gets shut off. The other area that it's getting converted in is in your gut, in your intestines. And so if you don't have a healthy bacteria population in your gut, if you don't have the right diversity of different species, you're not going to get that conversion of T4 to T3. And then what will your doctor do? You'll, you'll get your labs ran, and you may have a high level of TSH. Your doctor will look at that and say, okay, I want to put you on Synthroid. So the number one most prescribed drug right now is Synthroid. Now what is Synthroid? Synthroid is 100% pure synthetic T4. Now if the problem's in your liver and you're just dumping more T4, then you're overwhelming and you're suppressing your body. So if your body is getting over, it's like overheating an engine, you're just throwing more T4 at it, but you don't feel any better, or you may feel better temporarily, and your labs will normalize, your doctor will say, well, good news, now that we got you on Synthroid, everything looks normal, but the problem is you still have the same symptoms. So you still feel, you're still tired, your energy is just not quite right. Maybe the medication made you feel a little better, but you know your body's just not quite functioning quite right. And so you still get the, the cold hands, cold feet, you're still a little depressed, you just don't feel like yourself. So what do you do? You go to your doctor and, and she says, let's try another medication for depression. And then you end up on, on you know, Prozac or Wellbutrin or, or something, but you're not getting to the cause. And so what we want to do is we don't want to, we don't want to leave any stone unturned because Secret number three when it comes to getting your weight fixed is you have to have a healthy thyroid. You cannot lose weight unless you have healthy metabolism. And having healthy metabolism may not be deriv deriven from having a pharmaceutical agent manipulate your numbers.